something stone, it will never come up. Whereas these boys throw this so-called something. It was not even called rubber, but you throw something, it emerges back. It, it comes out again. Right? That was the strange thing for him. And he was surprised. And he goes to the boys and asks, is it some black magic you are doing? How is it you throw something and it emerges again? So he asked this. And those tribal boys in their own language, they take him and go to that tree, scratch it, and a kind of white juice comes. And that juice, they harden it, and that shows the elastic property. So he writes that carefully. Writes in the same way, he writes everything, and then sends the plant. Fifty years that information remains unknown. Fifty years that remains unknown. Suddenly one fine morning, when they were seeing this, they saw this property. And a great thing, there is a plant which has milky juice and after hardening, it shows elastic property. I think we should try to discover this plant. Thousands and thousands of plants he had collected and one plant proved to be a wonder plant. A big group comes from the Royal Botanic Garden, which included also one person called Priestley. He's a chemist. All these fellows, they come and come to the same place where Richard Spruce had collected the plant and they also go and make the same thing and find, yes, here is a plant which yields milky latex and, and that fellow, uh, Priestley, chemist, he was also writing very methodically in pencil. No pen was not there at that time. He was writing in pencil and while writing notes, he made a mistake. When he made a mistake, automatically he just rubbed it. So he, because he had that uh, the so called elastic material in his hand, he rubbed it and the pencil mark got erased. And he was another surprise, a great surprise. Now you can imagine, today you may think, hey, what surprise, my children are also making all that. But at that time, when he did, hey, he then scratched it again proper. So he says, this elastic material can erase the pencil mark and he called it for the first time rubber. Can you imagine the adventure that people have done? Once this was done, Goodyear came further and he said, you boil it with sulfur, it becomes so hard and that paved the way for the tires of cycles. At that time, no cycle, scooter, car, aeroplane, nothing. So, this can use, used for the cycles. And later on today, rubber is needed in everything, even the moonwalking or whatever you go, rubber is needed. Now, I will ask you a question. Can we imagine Imagine the human civilization without rubber. No. no. Rubber has become, the entire human civilization has been changed because of discovery of one plant out of several thousands of plants he collected. So this is a botanical adventure, I would say. So today it may, for you it may appear to be very simple, but because at that time, that is the greatest adventure this fellow did, and that is how rubber came into existence. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, the person who discovered rubber, he died as a beggar because he had no food to eat. So that is the story which has a very pitiable condition on the road. He dies uncared for because that was the situation. The man who gave rubber to this world dies like this. There are stories like this for everything I will...